Going to execute the action player create by holding control and pressing spacebar. It's going to open up 12 clients and then wait 9 seconds. It has renamed all the windows to WW1 through WW12. It uses that number to identify the windows. So that I know in, in user-definable source code, so to speak, a command list, and I can address the window specifically. Ooh, that last one screwed up. Sometimes it works. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's up with why it sometimes fails yet. Um, I could add an option to say that if it detects that it is still in the load screen because there was some sort of failure to uh, go ahead and run a login script again. I'm not I'm not done with that yet. So now I'm gonna take a look at player create and try to explain some of what it did. Uh, this command list runs a bunch of other command lists. First, it runs 12 whiles from this command list. It assigns a local variable, uh, local variable i. I remember this error is still here, so I'm just going to fix that. It's just a uh, <clears throat> error of the from the description, so it's no real big deal. Um, anyway, it's going to say lv1 local var that's local variable one equals one. And you can rename those. Uh, then it's going to run uh, a while, and then it's going to go to run a while again. It's going to go to 2. Um, it's going to use uh, local variable 1 as a iterator. And as long as local variable 1 is less than 13, it's going to continue to jump to line 2. Um, and it's going to step by 1 each time. It's going to increment by 1. So I'm going to save this because I changed the description. Um, here it's going to rename those windows, it's uh, right. It's going to rename them w. It's going to rename them all to ww1 through ww12. Here, it's going to load positions from a file and then move the windows to those positions. Um, here, it's going to send login information, and then it's going to go out of there and it's going to assign uh, a local variable. I relative to this command list. This is a different one. So it's going to take that iterator, it's going to make it one. Uh, it's going to load a tune name file. It's going to click on a percentage of each window, WW1. Uh, see, it's going to concatenate WW1 and whatever the iterator variable equals. So that's going to be 1 through 12. And it's going to go to a percent of that window. And that's how it's going to strike the button to create new character. It's going to send a, a, a tune name that it reads from, from a file. It's going <clears> to <throat> send the keystrokes for that. It's going to click Undead. It's going to click Warlock. It's going to click Mail. And it's going to keep doing this as long as L local variable I is less than 13. So it's going to jump to 4 as long as LI less than 13 increment by one. And four is click new character. And we saw all that happen. Thank you for watching the video.